Lightning Chargers. I'm Trinity Marks. I'm Camille Sinnott. I'm Savannah Bone. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm Amelia Matt. I'm Alyssa Grazius. I'm Danny Isa. My name is Nick Rossell. Hi, I'm Sierra Johnson. I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Rena Rock. I'm Trinity Sipple. I'm Taina Black. Hi, I'm Abby Ford. I'm Morgan Barry. John Antonio. I'm Will. I'm Chandler Morrell. And I'm Nick Butler. And this is the morning show on CTN. Good morning, Chargers. I'm Rena Robinson, and this is the morning show on CTN. I'm Savannah Vaughn. Today is Tuesday, April 12, 2016, and today we are celebrating a lot of the weird holidays around the world. It's Drop Everything and Read Day. It's also National Be Kind to Lawyers Day, since people aren't generally nice to lawyers. It's also National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day, National Library Workers Day, and National Library Day. I wonder if Mrs. Creenan will let us celebrate by eating grilled cheese in the library while we drop everything and read, and then write some nice something nice about lawyers on a piece of paper. I heard that's what everyone is doing in library today. That doesn't sound like something Miss Creenan would do, though. Well, it is also National Walk on Your Wild Side today, so maybe she's going all wild and crazy because of that. Now that sounds like a possibility. We're, we sure are lucky to have Mrs. Creenan as our librarian. Maybe I'll give her some licorice as a way to say thank you since it's also National Licorice Day. I bet she would appreciate that. I bet she would too. Yeah. Okay, this is all for now. Well, happy bunch of random holidays to all of you out there. Let's go over to Nick with today's weather forecast. Hi, Nick. Did you bring us any grilled cheese and licorice for breakfast? And for breakfast sandwiches? That sounds awful, Rena. And no, I didn't. <laughs> it's not going to be a very nice day today. There will be periods of rain this morning that will give way to cloudy skies later on. The high today will be just 57 degrees. The forecast for the rest of the, this week looked gloomy, but Mother Nature has turned things around and the rest of the week will be sunny with highs in the mid-60s. It should be a beautiful day for baseball at the Blue Rocks game tomorrow. Back to you. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Lunch today is grilled cheese and licorice sandwiches. That's not what lunch is. How can that not be lunch? Were you not paying attention earlier in the broadcast? I was, but I also do not control the cafeteria menu. I'm sure that Mrs. O'Reilly like many of our viewers, had no idea it was grilled cheese sandwich day. Or licorice day? Or liquor, or licorice day, sorry. So what's lunch then? Bacon, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Do you think they can grill my cheese before they put it on there? I bet if you ask nicely, they'll nicely tell you no. Rats. Class pictures are taken today. We don't have a schedule, so when they call for your... Call for you, just drop everything, comb your hair over real quick, and get ready to smile. Middle school has mass this morning, so we are on a C schedule. Tomorrow, we are going to the Blue Rocks game. Don't forget to bring in your permission slip so you don't, for, you don't get left behind. The cast of Seasical Junior will rehearse today from 3 to 6 in, in the gym. Remember to bring all of your costumes in Thursday and for every practice after that. I will. You're not in this play. Yes, I am. I'm a tree. No, you're not. I'm in the play, and I know all of the trees, and you, sir, are not one. Why do you have to ruin all my fun? Because I can. Speaking of fun, let's go to Taina with today's weird but true fact. Hey Birdos, I'm here, I'm here with your weird but true fact. I think it's pretty safe to say that in America and around the world today, a lot of kids have cell phones. I think it's also pretty safe to say that most adults have them too. Now people typically pay around $200 for a phone when, when they get a two-year contract. Did you know that the first handheld mobile phone cost $3,995? 
I doubt that many people would have phones if they were still costing close to $4,000 each. Yikes. Back to you guys. Thanks, Taina. There are no local celebrity birthdays today, but children's author Beverly Cleary turns 100. She wrote more than 30 books over 50 years and sold over 85 million copies worldwide. Her, her first book was Henry Huggins, which was about a boy and his dog named Ribsy. This year, HarperCollins published new editions of three of their best-known books, Henry Huggins, Ramona Quimby, age 8, and The Mouse and the Motorcycle, with introductions by Judy Bloom, Amy, Amy Poehler, and Kate DeCamelo. Cleary won the Newbery Medal in 1984 for Dear Mr. Henshaw, was honored by the Newbery Committee for Ramona and her father in 1978, and Ramona Quimby, age 8, in 1982, and earned the National Book Award for Children's Fiction in 1981 for Ramona and her mother. In 2000, she was named a living legend by the Library of Congress, and in 2003, she received the National Medal of Art from the National Endowment of the Arts. Her last book, Ramona's World, was published in 1999, decades after the perpetually bratty little sister debuted in Henry Huggins. Cleary told the New York Times that Ramona is her favorite character but isn't really like Cleary as a child. I was a well-behaved girl, she said, but I often thought like Ramona. She plans to celebrate with a slice of carrot cake. Interestingly enough, Beverly Cleary's published publishers are the ones who came up with Drop Everything and Read Day, which we discuss at the top of the broadcast. We leave you today with a short video of Beverly Cleary. Maybe when you head to the library today for your grilled cheese sandwich, you can pick up a copy of Ramona Quimby, age 8, or Henry Huggins. Happy 100th birthday, Beverly Cleary. From all of us at CTN, we hope you have a great Charger Tuesday. Bye. Beverly Cleary Turns 100 is sponsored by Kindle, inspiring the love of reading. It is 839. We're back with a woman who probably played a big role in your childhood. Definitely. Beverly Cleary, one of America's most cherished authors, is marking a big milestone. And Jenna Bush Hager got to spend time with her recently. Good morning. I sure did. And in full disclosure, I'm in love with her. <laughs> Beverly turns 100 next month. But as they say, age is just a number. That's something I definitely found true when I was lucky enough to chat with this literary legend. Ha ha, I get to ride the bus to school today all by myself. Ramona bragged to her big sister. Chris at breakfast. Her stomach felt quivery with excitement at the day ahead. A day that would begin with a bus ride just the right length the right to make her feel a long way from home. But not long enough, she hoped, to make her feel carsick. Iconic children's author Beverly Clary has enchanted kids for generations creating beloved characters like Ramona Quimby, Ralph, that legendary mouse on the motorcycle, and Henry Huggins, her first, published in 1955. Now 99 years young, still witty as ever. You're about to turn 100? Yes. Are you excited? Well, I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? No, I can't. I remember a very earnest conversation my best friend and I had when we were, I guess, freshmen in high school about how long we wanted to live. And we decided that 80 was the cutoff date. <laughs> For such a prolific writer, her love affair with books started reluctantly. Growing up in rural Oregon, she didn't learn to read until the second grade, only to find stories that didn't interest her much. So many <clears throat> books in those days, back in the 1920s, had been published in England, and the children had nannies and pony carts, and they seemed like a bunch of sissies to me. <laughs> <laughs> she eventually became a school librarian and found that, like her, many kids just didn't relate to the books they had. I read that a little boy came up to you and said, where are the books about kids like us? He didn't say it so nicely. <laughs> 
<laughs> he said, where are the books about kids like us? <laughs> so she decided to write them herself, more than 40 books in all, which and kids like these at New York City's that? Churchill said, School have come to love. How many of you have read Beverly Clary? Did you love them? Yeah. Yes? Um, my favorite is um, Ramona the Pest. What's your favorite Beverly Clary? Um, Mouse on the Motorcycle because I love uh, mice, hamsters, <laughs> like any kind of rodent. Can you believe that some of these books are nearly 50 years old? Wow. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> Does that surprise you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you could say anything to Beverly Clary who wrote these books, does anybody have anything they'd want to say? I would say thank you. They kind of inspired me to go out and read more, and I thank her so much for that. And it's not just kids who have been influenced by her stories. These books are so wonderful when you're a kid, and when you're 51 years old, they still matter to you. Beverly, you were my inspiration when I started to write all those years ago. You remain my inspiration today. It's not the acclaim, the dozens of awards, nor the 75 million books sold in 25 languages that make Beverly Clary happiest. What are you most proud of? The fact that children love my books. 60 years of work and a storybook life with more chapters still to come. What are you looking forward to? At my age? Well, <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> oh, do you not love her? Love her. So did you guys grow up reading her books? Yes. Mouse and the Motorcycle. I'm a little older than you guys, so they weren't around in my early childhood, but yeah. they got there. Yeah, yeah. Team Ramona. Uh, me too. I love it. Okay, so to celebrate Beverly Cleary's 100th birthday, our sponsor, Amazon, actually gave away Kindles loaded with books for families in Maryland, ensuring that yet another generation of young readers will get to enjoy her stories. Good idea. Awesome. Right.